Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today I'm going to discuss Statistics and Probability Chapter 1, Part 3. So let's get started. a review of what we have discussed last time. Um, we have covered the different types of variables which are discrete and continuous. Also, uh, we can categorize these uh, variables under quantitative and qualitative. So here you can see some of the variables and uh, it tells whether they are of qualitative nature, quantitative, discrete, or continuous. Now, what we're going to cover today is the levels of measurement. In this lesson, we will discuss the different levels of measurement as we continue to explore data, knowing such will enable us to plan the data collection process we need to employ in order to gather the appropriate data per analysis. There are actually four levels of measurement of variables, which are what we call as nominal, ordinal, interval, and rate first level of measurement, we have what we call as the nominal level. When we talk of nominal levels, it is one that has two or more categories, but there is no intrinsic ordering to the category. For example, gender is a categorical value having two categories, male and female, and now what we have is LGBTQI. And there is no intrinsic ordering to the categories. If I say, let's categorize male as one, females as 2, and LGBTQI as 3, I'm not saying that males are superior or greater as compared to females. We are just using the numbers to merely categorize them. Uh, nominal levels of measurement arises when we have variables that are categorical and non-numeric, or where the numbers have no sense of ordering. So for example, we have two of the greatest NBA players, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. When I say uh, Kobe Bryant wears a 24 jersey, I'm not saying or it does not necessarily mean that he's a far better player as compared to LeBron James who wears 24. The numbers in their jersey are just merely representations or categorizing uh, so it's easier for um, people to identify who is playing it. Our next level of measurement, we have what we call as the ordinal level. When you say ordinal level, it, it, it is a type that shows a clear order of the variables. Thus, the root word order or ordinal. Um, for example, suppose you have variables of economic status with three categories. You can say low, medium, and high. And it really talks of a specific order. And um, in ordinal levels of variables, there's a meaningful sense of ordering. So this time, when we use numbers, it is really...
are perfect examples of ratio levels. So to sum it all up, uh, here's our... Uh,